Hello, welcome to Film My Watchlist, my name is Richard Keeney. Following on from my lists on international thrillers and cult comedies, today I'm recommending five cult sci-fis. For this list I concentrate on films that were lesser known, avoiding major award winners such as Her and Arrival, and focusing primarily on independent films which either push the boundaries of the medium in unique ways, or made great use of a limited budget. As a side note, even though Nacho Vigilando's incredible time crimes would fit perfectly on this list, I've already recommended it in my five must-see Spanish thrillers video. The film is definitely worth seeking out. So, without further ado, here's my list on 5 must-see modern cult sci-fi films. Number 5. Primer. From auteur director Shane Carruth comes Primer, a film made on a minuscule $7,000 budget in which the entire dialogue had to be ADR'd in post. Surprisingly, the film is one of the very best and most intelligent approaches to the time travel subgenre. It makes just about as much sense as the concept of time travel. It's absolutely confounding, weird and mysterious, just as it should be. Primer is a rallying cry for independent filmmakers who think they need to tell small stories due to financial limitations. It's a must-see for fans of science fiction and rewards multiple viewings. If you like it, his follow-up Upstream Colour is beguiling and fiercely original filmmaking. Number 4, The Endless. A low-budget sci-fi with the ambition of a blockbuster, The Endless is a beguiling sci-fi tale that manages to explore weighty scientific ideas on a smaller scale. Directed by Benson and Moorhead who made Spring in 2014, the directorial duo also played the brother protagonists, who returned to a UFO death cult that they escaped 10 years previously. Calling to mind the likes of Coherence and Time Crimes, The Endless nonetheless has some extremely unique visual ideas and a twisty unpredictability that make it a riveting watch. It manages to organically blend some impressive visual effects that feel all the more authentic when juxtaposed with the seemingly guerrilla style shaky cinematography. Though perhaps it could have benefited from a stronger central cast, The Endless is definitely worth a watch for fans of original sci-fi. Number 3, The One I Love. The One I Love, directed by Charlie McDowell, is a unique genre blend. Presenting itself initially as a comedy slash romantic drama, the film allows its sci-fi ingredients to enter subtly in a way that both works terrifically well with their smaller budget and with an effective utilisation of discomfort and tension in the process. Mark Duplass and Elizabeth Moss are fantastically well cast and sell a concept that could have easily fell apart in less capable hands. With clever use of its setting and a brilliantly well realised ending, The One I Love is surprising and exciting filmmaking that deserves to be sought out. Number 2. Coherence. Perhaps the smartest use of a limited budget I've seen done in sci-fi, Coherence is a mysterious, dark and unnerving take on the doppelganger subgenre. When a suburban dinner party coincides with a strange cosmic event, the boundaries of time and space are fractured, leading to odd and unexpected consequences. With a fascinating production process incorporating a mix of scripting and improvisation, Coherence feels fresh and naturalistic, which contrasts thrillingly with the utterly otherworldly sci-fi concept. With a captivating lead performance from Emily Baldoni, and some clever direction that sells an idea that could quite easily become a confusing mess with a less talented director, Coherence is beguiling and essential sci-fi cinema. Number 1. Under the Skin Certainly different from the other films on this list in terms of tone, approach and visuals, Under the Skin has already got a dedicated audience but remains firmly in the cult film sphere. With near Kubrickian levels of audacity, director Jonathan Glazer pushes the boundaries of what's considered acceptable in the medium, and in the process makes one of the most exciting and credible films in years. Under the Skin is definitely divisive, and I can understand those who had an aversion to its deliberate pacing and lack of exposition. Personally, and without hyperbole, I think it's a masterpiece. The blend of documentary style camera work and sleek cinematic visuals is incredibly well utilised, selling ideas of the human and alien perfectly. Through an insane, terrifying score by Mika Levy, virtuoso visual storytelling by Glazer, and a fantastic committed performance from Scarlett Johansson, Under the Skin carves itself out as a thoroughly unique and fittingly alienating film. My prediction? This film will live on and continue to grow in esteem, joining the ranks of Blade Runner 2049, Arrival, Ex Machina, Her, District 9 and Children of Men as a modern sci-fi classic. What sci-fi films do you think deserve a bigger audience? Let me know in the comments below. If you would like to become a patron on Patreon, I'm currently taking requests for videos that my patrons want to see, such as reviews, movie lists, analysis, you name it. Thanks very much for watching, I really appreciate it.